Putin planning to destabilize Europe by using private armies. The Russian leader Vladimir Putin is hoping to use a 15,000-man police force made up of former Libyan militias to weaponize migrants from Africa, according to LBC media outlet. It is noted that it follows claims that the Kremlin is trying to orchestrate a refugee crisis on the continent by sending refugees to the border with Finland. They are trying to use migration as a lever in a larger game of influence and pressure. According to the EU's border police force, it would be done using private armies, including the Wagner Group, as well as by fueling violence in Burkina Faso, Mali and Libya. The hope is that by fueling conflicts in those countries, migrants would be forced to move to Europe. Documents seen by The Telegraph show plans for Russia to set up a specialized border force in Libya to carry out the plan. If you can control the migrant routes into Europe, then you can effectively control elections. Because you can restrict or flood a certain area with migrants in order to influence public opinion at a crucial time, a source told the publication. It comes after Putin tells the people of Russia that the country's nuclear capabilities are at a state of full readiness in a speech to the nation. During his annual State of the Nation address, Putin said, strategic nuclear forces are in a state of full readiness for guaranteed use. What we planned in the field of armaments, which I spoke about in my message in 2018, has been done or this work is being completed. Iran's Basij militia claims the ground has been prepared for Israel's disappearance. The commander of Iran's Basij militia claims the ground has been prepared for Israel's disappearance as the regime's proxies around the region continue attacks on the Jewish state and its ally, the US. The biggest media giants are Jews. They know that the Islamic Republic of Iran has targeted the existence of the Zionist regime and the groundwork for its eradication has been laid. Golam Riza Soleimani stated during a public gathering. The statement comes after Iran vowed its proxy groups will rally around the Palestinian Hamas and eventually defeat Israel. However, the Iranian regime has stayed out of the Gaza war as Israel has vowed to dismantle Hamas. Iran-backed Hamas has since been supported by Iran's proxies in Iraq, Syria, Lebanon and Yemen who have attacked Israel from its northern border and Red Sea coast and US facilities across the region, punishment for Biden's support for Israel's right to defend itself in the wake of the October atrocities. Soleimani has repeatedly vocalized the regime's sentiments towards Israel as money is poured into overseas proxies in the war on Israel and the US, a justification of the misplaced budget priorities as the country suffers its worst economic crisis since the founding of the Islamic Republic. In 2015, Supreme Leader Ali Khamenei, who founded the proxy militias as a strategy to eliminate its arch enemy, said the Jewish state must be destroyed in 25 years. The government set up a countdown clock in Tehran and other cities to mark the journey, a gesture mocked by many Iranians. Court ordered Trump to pay $454 million to file appeal he decided to negotiate. The New York Appeals Court has ordered Donald Trump to pay $454.2 million if he intends to file a counter-appeal in a civil lawsuit for financial fraud. However, his lawyers have stated that Trump has decided to negotiate and has offered only $100 million, according to CNN. According to Trump's lawyers, he wants to appeal the decision made by New York Judge Arthur Engoron on February the 16th, which, among other things, prohibits the former president from holding executive positions in any New York state company or taking out loans from banks registered in his state for three years. However, to file an appeal, a bond in the full amount awarded by the court must be posted within a month. Otherwise, the New York State Attorney General's office has the right to collect these funds at any time. In the lawsuit filed by New York Attorney General Letitia James, which led to Judge Engoron's decision, Trump and his family business were accused of inflating his net worth by $3.6 billion annually for 10 years to deceive banks and obtain better loan terms. The judge did not revoke Trump's business licenses, which, according to some experts, could have effectively ended his business empire. 
However, he imposed a fine of $354.9 million on Trump, and last week this amount, including accrued interest, reached $454.2 million. Trump's lawyers stated that a $100 million bond, as well as ongoing oversight of the Trump organization by a court-appointed observer, would be more than sufficient to secure the court's decision. Donald Trump faces over 90 criminal charges in several cases, including the payment of $130,000 to porn actress Stormy Daniels, an attempt to overturn the results of the 2020 presidential election, unlawful disclosure of classified information after leaving office, and more. On February the 16th, 2024, a New York court ordered Donald Trump to pay over $350 million. He was found guilty of deliberate financial fraud over 10 years. The judge also prohibited Trump from holding executive positions or directorships in any New York corporation for three years. Additionally, Trump may face civil liability for the actions of participants in the January 6, 2021 Capitol riot.